미션님이 요즘 그 깁스 팔에 깁스를 하셔갖고. This video was filmed by Nomad TV. Cop. Cop. In 2020, male to female ratio for Thailand was 95 males per 100 females, which fell gradually from 100.65. Although the sex ratio at birth is close to the natural sex ratio in Thailand, the woman's population is 1.2 million more than the man's one. As a lot of men become a Buddhist monk or go to the army, there is a small choice in rotten apples for the women over 20. To make matters worse, some men choose to be a gay or transgender. The sex ratio of a married female and male is 4 to 3. Therefore, in the case of 20s, one single woman will remain for every three couple. This means that Thailand is a paradise for you guys, the 40-year-old virgins. However, the rest of Thai women think single life can be better and happier. Let's check out the reason why they don't want to get married. The first one is Chow Chu, simply saying, a playboy. It's totally opposite of you guys who couldn't even hold the woman's hand. If a man has some money and looks somewhat above average, dating a lot of girls ultimately and playing the field. So when you first make a blind date with a woman in Thailand, there are many cases where women bring older sisters or relatives as she can see objectively because she is obsessed with the guy. Asking another woman to check if he's chow chu or not. <laughs> the second one is well known as geek, which means the second lover. Simply saying, it's a sexual partner without an emotional interaction. If we also have a sexual partner when we are single, normally cut off the relationship when a real lover comes. However, Thai men have a very desirable mental attitude about this. They are saying like, girlfriend is girlfriend and gig is gig. When they see a beautiful woman, he asks her to be his gig although he has a girlfriend and she tends to accept it if she is interested in him. Even though they can spend the night together like a normal couple, but never expect too much nor touch each other's privacy. A handsome and rich man may have more than 10 gigs, and the gigs are receiving somewhat financial support from the guy. But what if his girlfriend knows that her boyfriend has a gig? Of course, she'll be very angry and resent him by calling him Zhao Chu. However, many women do not break up, although they know it. Because it's not easy to find a good man and the other guys are also like Zhao Chu. Therefore, in the case of capable woman, ask her man Do not work. Stay at home. for fear of his cheating. And some women devote themselves to taking care of and cry out asking for him to know their sincere love. Sometimes, when they cross over the boundaries of jealousy, they cut the important part of their boyfriends with a knife. Like this, as Thai women are neurotic about the cheating of their men, you need to go there and console Thai girls by showing your devotion. The third one is concubine for over middle-aged men. The men who experience Zhao Chu and Geek do not change it too much, even when they get older. When they become middle-aged with financial ability, just like a leopard can change his spot, they start to have concubines. <laughs> As the salary of a college graduate office worker is only $600 to $1,000, even young women think of making money easily by selling themselves. If a Thai man is rich enough to support several families, he tends to shag up with one concubine nearby his real home. These three examples are the reason why Thai women look closely to see if the man is Chao Chu or not from the first meeting. As they can't feel relieved even after getting married, they carefully choose a fine child which becomes a fine gentleman.
Thailand is a matriarchal society where women take all responsibilities, and Thai men's disposition as Zhao Chu might be accumulated and inherited, sleeping around and running away when the women get pregnant. Naturally, it's up to women to take care of and raise children. In this atmosphere, as the mothers are more responsible and diligent, they are often shown to be the head of the family to their children. And the sons grow up seeing their exemplary mothers and opposite fathers. They cannot project themselves to their father's masculinity. This is why there are a lot of ladyboys in Thailand. Because they adore the appearance of a strong woman. Around 10% of elementary school boys have this kind of mindset. About half of them come back to normal after puberty. The rest of the confusion in their childhood is inherent. They naturally become feminine and lead a transgender or female life. On the other hand, a woman behaves like a man is called a tomboy. Thailand has a higher proportion of tomboy than other countries, seeing irresponsible fathers from their childhood. They become a tomboy feeling skeptical about their mother's lives. In the case of the girls dating tomboys are also similar. They are looking for women due to their incompetent fathers. Although the tomboys are physically weaker than men, beware, they would go through fire and water for their women.